Well, it's now mid-afternoon, and if I was to be permitted to fly at night, I would see this as a red glow. Hi there, I'm on the Samung Road, uh, out towards Samung, and I have come past Ban Pong and beyond. This valley is uh, renowned every year for lighting up uh, the mountains on the other side there. Uh, I'm surprised that the side of the road here is not burnt as well. That there is an awful long way away. Uh, from the road, you'd have to travel quite a distance through little uh, lanes, but also off-road um, and maybe not a road at all. It's just climbing embankments through uh, th through to uh, small mountains and then up the larger mountain side that you can see there. It is a very difficult terrain to take appliances to and get water to to put the thing out. So it's a very difficult job for the people that do it. Thanks for joining me on this very quick video uh, out on the Samoan Road. Uh, I actually went up to the top and did a flight from the top and had a high level view uh, just to beat the restriction that uh, I'm restricted to 90 metres here. Uh, I shouldn't go above that. Uh, so behind me you can see that fire over there in the forest. You can see it from you know up on top there. There's even more fires up in the mountain over that side. 
These fires will go on until they're extinguished by rain. Uh, there are so many fires up and down this valley uh, for, you know, tens, 20, 30, 40 kilometers that way. For the helicopters to come along and douse this, it will be very difficult because they're dousing something else the other side of the uh, mountains. These fires are only going to get put out by local people dousing them in their local areas. Oh, something I actually wanted to say from the last video, I omitted to say things because I do get a little bit tongue-tied and I don't remember to say everything I want to say because it's old age and uh, you know the excitement of talking in front of the camera and that sort of thing, I forget. But there's an issue whereby people see something burn this year and they live another year and then next year, well, hang on a minute, that tree's still growing. Uh, that undergrowth grew back and we are still alive and the world goes on, you know, the, the world has turned. The fact that it was a lie isn't the end of the world for them. And the fact that we got over the bad breath, uh, bad air, and we had trouble breathing, we overcame this and we existed for, for maybe five at times, months, with this poor air quality, the rest of the year was okay. So people become, you know, they become accustomed to the cycle of it. And the people who caused the burning, by the way, they arrested somebody down at Intanon yesterday for starting fires deliberately. Yeah. However, uh, the people who make these fires happen because of accidents or because they're burning off their uh, their crops or because they are clearing their rubbish or they're they've accidentally set fire to the forest uh, they don't really feel that it's the end of the world and I think it's something that I've learned when I've come to Thailand here after many years I have stepped back from making make, make, making observations and become excited about something and becoming irritated by it. I, I live and let live. I, I say to myself, my Ben Lai, and I say, well, get over it. Because people who get themselves all excited and worked up about the, the fact that there is a, a fire and it's causing bad air and it's troubling them or other people, well, they're... <laughs> They're already talking to the wall because there are thousands of people that are just putting up with this year after year. And it's not going away. This is going to happen next year. And by the way, the year after. So uh, get used to it. Anyway, uh, not so much of a negative uh, attitude from me today. More of a positive, hopefully. Anyway, see you in the next video. Thanks very much for joining me here. Bye-bye.